what is up guys, welcome to our week 5 in the Mount Moon Battle Association and today we're going up against Liverpool, Linu, Orion and yeah, I could call his team a bit I guess because I kind of predicted somewhat of a different team due to him having Mega Pinster but the team he's bringing is close to what I was predicting um, I was either thinking that he wouldn't bring either Toxic Rock or Gore guys but they both fit it so fine and just looking at this team here, it is troublesome. It's naturally troublesome. Uh, there are a lot of things that could be a factor here. Snorlax is annoying, Latios is annoying, uh, Manaphy can be annoying if he's um, going alone at me. And outside of that, I felt that the team was manageable. Gorgas is not a big deal, Toxic Rogue, not necessarily a big deal. Um, so the team I'm bringing is Asumreal, a faster variant this time to be able to creep his Dolphin actually. Kind of fearing seed bomb and earthquake, as uh, so I was hoping to be faster. So a lot of lost a bit of HP, but not a big really. Uh, I'm assault vest to be able to take energy ball from uh, or thunderbolts and energy ball from Larios and Manaphy, and um, yeah, it, it made sense. It was either that or Billy Drum, but I felt that I can't r really spam Aqua Jet since there's so many mods that resist it. But still, Assumer is a good mod because that forces his uh, Larios to not. Spam Dracos, which is important when you have <clears throat> Latios. So then we have, of course, my Mammoth Swine. It is an uh, ex-propelled variant because it just puts so much pressure on his team uh, with super power, power, or power, earthquake, uh, ice shot, and icicle crash. And um, yeah, or I mean super power. Uh, anyway, uh, we have ex-propelled over life for because I am actually fully defensive. Uh, or I am offensive at least, but I have max HP and a little bit of defense. I'm basically able to take Adam and Drain Punch from Toxic Rock if I'm forced to. Uh, so I wanted that, you know, keep it healthy. If I'm forced to match up with a horse Toxic Rock in that situation. Uh, then we have offensive Latias or Lati yeah Latias. That one is Latios. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out still. Um, Draco and Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is able to hit KO. Uh, Mana Feed is a Calm Mind. Defog recover, uh, speed ties with his Latias, Latios, damn it. Uh, then we have Metagross, which uh, with Mega Evolution uh, is as fast as his uh, Latios, yes, yeah, so all this time. Uh, Ice Punch, um, Thunder Punch, which actually is a 1 KO on the Mana Fee, actually, if it isn't defensive. Uh, then we have Sin Headbutt to 1 KO his Weezing, which he didn't bring, and uh, Earthquake. Then we have Scarf here across, nothing to it really. Uh, Gut. When it kills his Snorlax, if I get it burned, which I'm going to aim for with this Gore guys in mind. And then Rhyperior, a bit more defensive variant with Self Rock Dragon Tail, so his Snorlax can set up an Earthquake and Stone Edge because he has Mega Pinsir, like I said. Kinda needed it to be here. But yeah, that is pretty much the deal here. That is what I'm bringing. I'm gonna leave with a Zoom Reel because I thought that it was the obvious choice here because he needs Rocks up with Zonfan. So that's what I go with. So with all this said, let's go. So, yeah, first of all, I predict actually wrong here. He's gonna lead with his Gore guys. And the thing is, here, it is a small Gore guy. So I was like, ah, oh, shit, this one is fast. This one is a fast Will O Whisper. Shit, I need to get out. But he doesn't gonna switch out first. Uh, which is okay. Uh, he's gonna bring in his Laudio. So I was thinking, alright, I'm bringing Hero Cross. There is no real reason for me not going for knockoff here. Uh, because he could fear the Mega Horn, and Mega Horn's a 1 kill. Knockoff is close to it, so I'm just gonna go for it. And he goes to Dawnfan, which is a very, very safe switch in. And yeah, that's defensive. That's defensive as fuck. But, <laughs> but yeah, all I need to do here is bring back a Sumeril. Because I know Rock's gonna go up. It is his play. I'm not gonna aim for an impossible defogger. I don't wanna knock off against my Latias, even though I have the Culberberry. But he's actually gonna go for um, a Protect here. So I was like, alright, fine. Since I went for a knockoff, so I'm just going to retaliate with Waterfall. He is being punished for staying in here, and he loses a lot of HP as he goes for the knockoff. And as you guys can see, that is no nope damage. And this time I'm just going to play rough because player of does kill him. He's actually going to switch out and go to Manaphy. And yeah, this hurts. This hurts the Manaphy, but that's somewhat defensive. Uh, definitely not the fully offensive set I was expecting. But at the same time, I'm going to decide to stay in. Because I kind of want to see if it goes for Tail Glow and whatnot to go for a knockoff. And uh, he goes for Rain Dance. I'm thinking, alright, it's the Resto Rain Dance set with Skull, Tail Glow, or Ice Beam. I'm not sure of his filler. 
But if it is Ice Beam, that is that is going to be unfortunate, but it's not going to kill me. And Thunderbolt is a 2 hit kill, I know that. Uh, since he has to have his investment somewhere, and it looks like he's in his defenses and not his special defense. So I felt safe, Thunderbolt is going to hit him, it's going to hit him hard. And that's a 50% hit. As he goes for a Squall, it, while it doesn't do a lot of damage to me, I am a bit unlucky here and get burned the first try. Um, definitely needed that for um, Heracross, but alright, I'll take it. And this time I go for Dragon Pulse because I don't think he's going to risk it losing it. So I was thinking I was going to sack off Donphan. No, he's close to sacking off the Gore guy, so they close too because that's the 2 hit kill. I do score a crit here, but it only matters as much as, uh, you know, since he actually he would have been 2 hit killed anyway. But, you know, this is not a situation I want to stay in at, and I'm expecting a Sneaky or a Shadow Sneak. And this Shadow Sneak does so much damage, so I was like, oh shit. This is Bandit. This is a Bandit Gorgeist. This guy is not gonna get a chance to uh, go over a will o -Wisp against me. The only chance I have to get him burned is through um, his... Uh, I'm sorry, his Manaphy right now. Outside of that, I'm kinda screwed. So we got Dolphin out of the way, which, you know, it served its purpose to what it's worth. And when Toxtro came in, I was like, right, it is for a period all the way. If he goes for Nasty Plot, Focus Blast can kill me. If he goes for Sword Dance, Brave Punch may be just 50%. And he goes for Sword Dance. I was like, oh, sweet. Now, I have to sadly do the obvious play and go for an Earthquake here. Because even if he goes for Drain Punch here, it isn't a 2 hit kill range. And Sucker Punch is not something my team necessarily like. So, like I said, there, you know, like I said, there is really nothing I can do. And uh, knowing that Surf is probably an option here. Uh, I'm going with Ladias, which can take the Surf really well, and then hopefully I can actually recover back up. Because I was thinking, he might not actually be fully invested in speed, you know, that's that could be a thing. And he switches, I was thinking, alright, he, he couldn't be then. He, he couldn't be. Uh, as I go for rest here, Snow Ice kind of commands, oh no. Since I don't really have the best kind of situation here, and of course, with the burn, I'm, I'm kind of back to where I were at when it came to the switching against the Latias. So I'm just going to go for a Defog here, Latios. Hey! And get the rocks out of the way. I kind of felt that, right, this is probably my only chance I'm going to do that. Because I kind of want to scout whether or not he has Pursuit. Or if he has a Curse. He has Curse. That's okay. We can deal with Curse Lags. Because I have Jelly Scent, you know, in my back. So I knew that he can't be a mono attacking one. He has to have Crunch or Earthquake. And then, of course, body slam and stuff like that. So, when he goes for a second curse, that's alright. And uh, just gonna go for a dragon tail to get him out of there as he goes for s facade. And I was like, okay, uh, why did you go for a facade? You know, one could ask, why didn't I go for stealth rocks? Uh, and you'd be right to ask that question. I should probably go for stealth rock. Like I said, earthquake would have been a two hit possible KO. I didn't want to risk that. Uh, so, here's Ladias. Ladios back again. I'm gonna bring my Ladias. And as it goes with Surf again, so we have this series of plays again, but this time I felt that, alright, since it switched out last time, he's not going to be fully speedy, obviously, so I'm just going for Dragon Pulse. He was actually timid, timid at max speed, but I win the speed tie, and he's so heavily punished by that. But unfortunately, I should say, my light is going to fall here, which is really, really, really bad. I, I kind of wanted it alive. Uh, so I'm going to ring Melvin here, and I can't risk it, I really, really can't risk it. So he's gonna go to Manaphy, he has to go for Nice Shot. I was so feeling the Earthquake, but I didn't do it. I didn't have the stones to pull that off. And, um, of course, I'm forced to switch out. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna get that Skull again. I feel like he's either gonna go for Rain Dance or he's gonna go for Skull. Went for a Skull, nice. Don't get burned. So I was thinking he's gonna try to preserve it. No, he's not. He's gonna go for another Skull. Don't get burned. If I had burned, I would die there. So basically, I am screwing this up. Because, sure, Manaphy is gone, but I don't get my Heracross uh, burnt, and I'm actually losing a pretty darn good check or counter for his Snorlax. Uh, so this is just going to kill the Manaphy, I have no real reason not to. And uh, I was thinking, this is going to bait out the Toxic Croak, this is going to bait him out, and yes, yes it did. As he goes for Drain Punch there, and that is definitely, you know, close to max damage there, for sure, this is Life Orb. But, like I said, I have some de defense investment and HP, so I am feeling pretty darn comfortable of staying in and just finish him off. But here's the thing, his gore guy is, is the small shitty one with the band. Not that the band matters, but it's definitely faster than my Manaphy, not Manaphy, my Mammoth Swine. 
but I know at least that use the bomb can take two of these. But it still does a lot of damage to me. But that did 52, so I'm thinking, don't get 52 again, and he doesn't. As I go for Aqua Jet. Now, before we even continue here, I'm in a good position, right? He only has the Ladias left, or Ladios, and of course the um, Snorlax. So, I was thinking, and this is where it came down, that, you know, why would you bring the Ladios against the Super Since he knew he has Aqua Jet. I was thinking, you know, all right, you know, he, he could actually, of course, get the, his Snorlax to not be forced out, of course, with Rhyperior. And I needed my Metagross to be fully evolved to be able to do it KO the Snorlax. Without that, I'll have no chance. And that thought crossed my mind as I pushed Aqua Jet on my Sumeril. The reason I say this is because I get into such a shitty situation now. Like, I am not even joking. I go for Aqua Jet, I'm knocking out Latios. And I re just, like I said there, the thought crossed my mind. I was like, oh no. This is exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna bring Snorlax. I was thinking, ah oh, shit. Now I need to go to, of course, my Mammoth Swine. Hoping that superpower is enough. Hoping he goes for a kill. Hoping for anything really. But no. He got me. And he got me good too. Like, this was the play to make. Like, I can't even deny it. Um, the only way I was gonna win now is to score a crit, anything like that. Uh, or I could timer stall him. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm not feeling that. I'm, I'm such a player, I, I really aren't. And this is probably, like I said, there is really isn't enough. He's definitely a bulky, bulky, na bulky lax, really. And uh, there's simply nothing I can do. I decided to bring Metagross because at least Metagross does resist the facade. And I kind of feeling he's gonna, he's going to be Restock, uh, Restock facade. And uh, that's not a bad set. But like I said, there, it kind of bothered me because, like I said, I have Jelly Synth. Feeling really strange that a mono attacking Snorlax that would have been walled out by one of my bond completely. But you know, as that started to bother me, I was feeling at the same time that, you know, I'm going to do my best here. So I'm going to Metagross, I'm going to go for at least Hammer Arm, hoping that something works and, you know, what do you know? I, I get the fucking crit. Like, it, it just flattens the Snorlax here. Like, I, I can't tell you guys how unfair. This, this crit is, is because Ryan definitely pushed me to a corner. I do believe he deserved this win, but it happened. Like, the first thing I was writing, you know, on Twitter was like, oh my god, lol, because I have to say it, I did not expect that. So, um, yeah, I won. Like, I am live 5 0 in the league. Like, I am undefeated still. But, yeah, it's. Um, it's a rather bitter victory because I, I really realize how um, how unfortunate my opponent really were. I mean, I was actually calculating you know, a fully offensive Snorlax with a plus six facade against my right period, and it would have done at best 25%. But then again, facade has a lot of PP, so he would have been able to eventually knock my right period out. And uh, I had no mark that can take this thing on outside of you know getting. A crit, obviously. Even Metagross would be in the same kind of area where I do believe it's do around 25%, so I would have been able to at least get a few hits on it, but basically it was, it was a gamble at that point. And I think Ryan did all the correct plays here. And as I also stated a bit about the Ellison situation, the reason I'm mentioning it is because I kind of think that it's a very, very risky way of building a team. Uh, rather lack lusting, really, but it did work out here. Uh, because I didn't bring Yelisen because of the mods that Yelisen couldn't deal with when it comes to this matchup. So he did the right call while I think it was rather risky of doing so. But yeah, with all that said, like I said, I do win. It, it's, it's, it's okay. I don't feel I'm, I am a fair winner. Uh, I definitely think that Ryan was the worthy winner because he got me good there. He definitely, like, I had so much momentum at the end there. And he just playing his card right, pushing me to a corner I didn't see coming. I was very skilled, done, really. I, I can't deny that. Uh, so yeah, of course, everybody who's watching, I hope you enjoyed this battle. It definitely was something else. And I am extremely lucky with Metagross, like, I can't even. Um, but yeah, <laughs> thank you, of course, so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow with the next video. And Ryan, GG, man. That was a, that was a great battle. <laughs> for everybody else, take care. Bye.